This is a review of how to calculate components uh, using the automatic method and also using the trig method. I'm going to do the automatic method first, uh, in particular talk about how to get theta because that's the key of the automatic method. Alright, so this will work with any vector. Uh, so I'm going to draw, I'm putting it on an x-y axis, we'll see why here in a minute. I'm going to draw a vector and I'm going to say that this is 3 meters per second squared. Acceleration is a vector. And we'll say it's at an angle of 15 degrees. Okay. When you're dealing with vectors, they have an x component or an x part and a y part. And before you do any problem, you have to break down any of the vectors that you're going to use into their components before you do any adding or subtracting. That's why this is important. So the autom automatic method for this, okay, there's a general form of an equation that says that a represents any vector. Any vector in the x direction, the x part of it, will equal a, which represents the entire length of the vector, the whole thing, okay, times the cosine of theta. The y component of that vector will equal the length of the entire vector times the sine of theta. Where theta is very specific. Theta is measured from the positive x-axis counterclockwise until you hit the vector. Let me show you what I mean. This is the x-axis, this is the positive side, this is the negative side. So you start here and you go counterclockwise to hit your vector. Well, my example problem here, that's already given, it's 15 degrees. So I'm going to use the formula here with the theta being 15 degrees. So the acceleration in the x direction for this problem would be 3 meters per second squared, the entire thing, times the cosine of 15 degrees. Plug that into your calculator get your answer. Ay would be 3 meters per second squared times the sine of 15 degrees. Okay? So what does that mean on a picture? That means this acceleration in the x has this value. Acceleration in the y has this value. If you added these two parts up using the rule of tail to tip, you'd end up back with the entire acceleration. And these are vectors. Uh, since this was going up and to the right, the x part went to the right and the y part went up. Okay. That's the automatic way. So if you're doing the automatic way, all you have to know is this and how to get theta. Let me give one more example for theta. Let's say that 3 meters per second squared was like this. And this was 20 degrees. Well, you can't use the 20. You have to start the positive x-axis and go counterclockwise until you hit the vector. So from here all the way back to here would be 360 degrees because you went all the way around the circle. And then you go back 20, so 360 minus 20 gives you uh, your theta of 340 degrees. From here to here, your theta would be 340. So it would be the same process except instead of cosine 15, in this problem it would be cosine 340. Uh, the one advantage of the automatic way is if you call up and right positive, it's supposed to be a right, if you call up and right positive, this will always take care of the sign for you. It'll put the sign on the components that, are, that, is, that is the correct sign for each component. Uh, with the trig way, which I'm about to show, uh, that's not the case. So you can use just this method to solve every problem if you want. Okay? So if you're happy with this, you can stop watching. Okay? The next method is the trig method, okay, and that is using SOHCAHTOA. And I'm going to do the same problem just to illustrate that it's you know the same result. So three meters per second squared. Put this at 15 degrees. What you do with the, 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 the if you're going to use SOHCAHTOA to solve it, or what I call the trig method, is you're going to draw the x and y components like that, okay. And then I'm going to label this 3, and I'm going to put the 15 here. And you'll notice we ended up with a right triangle. Okay? I'm going to redraw that again just for clarity. It's a right triangle where this side is 3, and this angle is 15. And now it becomes, if you look at that, it becomes a basic math problem with Sokotoa. Okay? So you're looking for the y and the x. So you can use Sokotoa. All right? This, I'm going to do the x first. Compared to the 15 degrees, the angle that we know, this is the adjacent side, and this is the hypotenuse. So adjacent and hypotenuse, that's an A and an H, that means you're going to use cosine. So the cosine of 15 degrees 
equals the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the units back on here. And I'll go ahead and throw the units on here as well. Okay. So this x component of the acceleration, in fact, let me make that ax, ay. This x component of the acceleration Here, will be. The council meeting is being held in Mrs. Bridges' classroom right now. All students on the senior expect council, please report to a meeting in Mrs. Bridges' room right now. The acceleration in the x direction will be 3 meters per second squared. I just multiplied both sides by 3 times the cosine of 15. Same thing we got when we did it the automatic way. Okay. Now, if you're doing it the automatic way in that second example I showed, sometimes you'll be using a different angle. That's why when you're doing it this way, you have to decide on the sign. Okay. In this case, uh, it is positive and this will come out to be positive, but you have to put the sign on here after you plug this into your calculator. You got to think what direction is it going? In this case, it's going to the right. So if I call up and right positive, I would leave this as a positive. Okay. Next one for the y component, this is the opposite side from the 15. This is still the hypotenuse. So opposite and hypotenuse, that is the sine. Okay? So sine of 15 degrees equals the opposite over the hypotenuse. And you get 3 meters per second squared times the sine of 15 degrees. Okay? That's how you do it. One more brief example. You got to plug that in your calculator. Make sure you're in degree mode. Let's pick one that's at a different angle. Let's say you had something like this. Uh, I don't know. Call that 10 degrees. Okay, we'll call this three. Now this is where, if you're doing it the trig way, you're going to use you're going to probably use the 10, or you might use the 80 here. Okay, but all you have to do is draw the right triangle. So if you're going down into, this is going down into the left, okay, it's going down to left, you simply draw in the y, draw in the x, and there's your 10 degrees, there's your 3, go ahead and do the trick. It's also correct, okay, if this is 80 degrees, it's also correct to do this, you will get the same result if you use the 80, if you go from here to here, that angle is 80, because from here to here is 90. You could do that, or you could do this. Just make sure you label the hypotenuse correctly, and you will get the same result. Okay? You'll have to put the signs on, though. So in this case, the x component going to the left, the acceleration in the x would be negative if you're doing the standard up and right positive, and the acceleration in the y, you would have to add a negative or change it to a negative. If you do this, either one of these actually, and you don't change the sign, you'll end up getting the problem wrong because you're going to have to make it so that the sign is correct because acceleration is a vector. If you need more practice problems on calculating components, let me know. Uh, we do use this throughout the semester.